<laughs> oh man, playoff loss. Let me take this off, okay? Because I've been wearing my seven underneath the doggone shirt because I still had hope that the Pittsburgh Steelers would get the job done. First and foremost, defense, you did everything that you could through a quarter and a half, and then ultimately you ran out of gas and Kansas City took advantage. But we already had a feeling their high-powered offense would go out there and do what they had to do. Our offense continued to look the exact same way they looked all year, but we already knew that. We were going to go out there and look a bit abysmal. All I asked was that we kept it close, and damn it, we did for a quarter and a half, but our offense could not wake up. The Kansas City Chiefs were the better football team today, and we're going to give them their kudos. We're going to give them their flowers. We're going to acknowledge that the better team won today, all right? Now, T.J. Watt solidified the fact that that brother is the defensive player of the year. Does that matter up until this point? Not at all, because our playoff hopes, our playoff dreams, our quest of Super Bowl 56 and that stairway to seven has been ended. Let's just be honest. Ain't nobody seen the Pittsburgh Steelers making it here. We had less than a 1% to make it to the doggone postseason. Or I should say less of a 1% to make it to the Super Bowl. Less than 10% to make it to the postseason. But damn it, we had a ticket to the dance. And we had an opportunity to go out there and do the Moran game. But throughout one quarter, we actually were dancing. And then ultimately, Kansas City done took the damn front. And they started dancing left and right. And we could not figure out how to move our hips. And we lost. Deontay Johnson, a couple of hands, was just for decoration once again. Juju Smith shoes that had no business playing in this game. But that brother suited up to line up with his brothers and you got to give that brother respect for that. Najee Harris banged up elbow. He still showed up and you got to give that brother respect for that. Granted, first fumble of the season, but damn it, you go out there, you lay it all on the line. We never quit. We didn't lay down for nobody. We was getting blown out, gave up freaking, what was it, 35 unanswered points and still when everybody should have just got blown out and we should have just went to the sideline and said game is over, what did we do? We still went down the field. We got ourselves some points. We still, on the final drive of the game, found ourselves inside the five and ran out of time. Now, granted, the game was out of reach. Granted, there was no way for us to make a comeback. But still, we fought. And that's the story of the Pittsburgh Steelers. We fight left and right. Now, granted, a lot of people don't feel very confident about this football team. All year long, we could already tell, hell, if we was to go anywhere moving forward in the postseason, we'd be considered frauds, rightfully so. But still, you still fight, bottom line. Because when we fail in the first half, guess what? The second half, we don't lay down for anybody. We still go out there and put our best foot forward and try to bless our, play our best version of football. To everybody who participated and contributed this season, I'd like to say thank you. And last but not least, to the man, the jersey that I'm wearing right now, to seven, Ben Roethlisberger, thank you so much for 18 years of winning football. Never once have we had a losing season with Big Ben Roethlisberger at the helm starting at quarterback. And I'll be there personally in five years to see you into Canton, Ohio, as you enter uh, um, football heaven as a member of the Hall of Fame. T.J. Watt, you're the Defensive Player of the Year. Claps around the room for you. Deontay Johnson, best season of your career. There's a, kind of, there's a number of people who's not going to be on this football team moving forward into next year. But the bottom line is the Kansas City Chiefs were the better football team. We went out there. We gave it our best opportunity. We gave it our best chance. It's the same team that smacked us by 30 last year, and we gave them a run for their money for a quarter and a half. But ultimately, that Steelers magic ran out, and then you saw the Chiefs go ahead and walk away with the W. And I hope that team goes on to win the damn Lombardi Trophy because if you lose to the eventual champions, there is no shame in that. There are no moral victories in football. So I'm not going to sit over here and make it seem like I got a smile on my face and I'm feeling good about the fact that we lost. But damn it, we fought until the very end. And Ben Roethlisberger showcased this entire season that damn it, if there's one thing about Ben, he going to go out there and fight. You could be losing by four scores, does not matter. He going to make it interesting. You could be down by two scores, three scores, five scores, does not matter. Ben Roethlisberger will not quit. And the story of Ben Roethlisberger's career is going to be that of one tough-ass motherfucker. So next year, we've got to figure out what our quarterback situation is going to be. We've got to figure out what our offensive situation is going to be. But we will be back, and we will be back stronger. This is not the end of the Pittsburgh Steelers. People talk about a rebuilding phase. Oh, no. We will not go 10 years having to rebuild because that is not what the Pittsburgh Steelers where he is. 
All right, we're going to figure it out one way or another, and we will be back in the postseason next year. You can mark my words, and there's going to be hell to pay for everybody who decided to show up and laugh at us. We will once again give kudos to the Kansas City Chiefs. We will not make excuses. We lost. We will take our responsibility for our loss. But damn it, next year, we will be back. We will be better, and the stairway to seven will never stop as long as I've got air in my lungs in the Pittsburgh Steelers play football on Sundays, Mondays, and Thursdays. We will be back. We will be better. We're the Pittsburgh Steelers. We're the franchise. We're the cornerstone of the NFL. And damn it, we will never quit. Ben Roethlisberger, thank you so much for 18 years. I will see you in Canton in five years. Everybody get your hands up in here. All right? Steelers on three. Team on six. One, two, three. Steelers. Four, five, six. Team. We will never quit on our football team. Thank you so much for the 2021 season. We're going to be back in 2022. I don't give a damn what nobody got to say. I'm proud of my football team. We had no business being here, and damn it, we still showed up. We attempted to show out. Unfortunately, it didn't work out in our favor. We're going to be back coming 2022 in the goddamn fall. Thank you so much, Ben. I'll see you in the Hall of Fame.